everybody doing? Doing good? Good? Let's play some Burgundy in it. This is the Battle of Whistland. I have my Helrado team here with Doggle and Ulster. I have a question for my it's teacher. My, my third army. Yep. Um, now I know that my Burgundy skills are growing since your uh, instruction is very helping me. For the exams, can I use a cheat sheet? No. No. I thought you were a nice teacher. I changed I'm a my very mind. nice teacher. I, I gave, changed my I gave mind. you a good grade when I could have given you an F. I could have given you a horrible, horrible grade. I never did that bad. No, you didn't do that bad. Then why would you give me an F? Because I'm a good teacher. <laughs> That's why I didn't give you a terrible grade. You gotta base me on how well I do, not how nice you are. But that's what everybody wants in their schools. They want they want kids to have good grades. Yes, but the kids so, don't do so, good. So the teachers have to just give them good grades, so that everybody's like, "Hey, these kids are amazing." No, because then the kid <laughs> grows up thinking he's super smart. Where he's really, really well, what about the time where everybody gets, uh, you know, all the little leaguers, they all get trophies all the time. What's the point of getting a participation trophy? It's almost like a slap in the face. Well, I would hate to get a participation trophy. Well, it makes me feel good. If they're like, <laughs> if they're up to the age of five or six, maybe eight. But then anything beyond that, it's like, don't, don't bother. Don't, I know. Don't what, bother doing that. That's what I'm saying. The, the little league kids it's, are little kids. It's giving them overconfidence and nothing. Yeah, but Frank, really. giving them good grades, making them think they're smart, and they go in the real world, find out that they're very, very dumb, they're not going to amount to anything. They're going to be homeless, most likely. That's why you give grades on how well... Oh, there's well smart kids and there's not so smart kids. I mean, you're going to get that going around, but I mean, you got, I mean, you got people around the world complaining about Americans not being, you know, not not having that uh, that higher education. Well, that was me. I was always on the low end of the totem pole. So, <laughs> I mean, I always <laughs> got shafted. Got the stick more than the playtime. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it makes sense if you don't think about it. Okay. Now, the thing is... What I'm trying to say is... I'm going to grade you based upon how I feel you have performed in a sense that works to a degree. So it makes you look nice? No, basically what it is is that you tried to do well, you put together a decent battle plan of what to do, and you went with it. Now, is there a perfect battle plan? Possibly. But in every scenario, even if you were to play chess, there's a lot of situations that are just always very different. You can't yes. you can't guarantee this is always this way. This is always that well, way. Like the you but, could have an opener or something to start, but that doesn't guarantee that is absolutely the best way. I bar know. not. Well, like, the thing is, I can put you know? my guys in a really good position. They could do something different where I have to, might have to change my position. And that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm saying. Battle plan that's, is that's, not always perfect. But that's what I'm trying to say. You're, you're trying to look at me like I have to like rate you perfectly based upon all your perfect moves but if you're and a make nice sure you teacher, do them perfectly. But if you're a nice no, teacher, you gonna... would give me a cheat sheet. No, that's terrible. I'll never do that. Because <laughs> that does not help you get better. Okay. If you have it in your mind, here's the thing. Most people nowadays will go to their calculator to calculate so many things. There's numbers that I can calculate in my head without actually having to use a calculator. And I mean, dividing, multiplying. This is the kind of math that I grew up doing. Now, we all did. <laughs> well, not, well, not all of them. I did too. Not though. all of them. I did too. You know, but then you get schools that do stuff like this, which is like, okay, make sure you bring a calculator. Now, if you were doing calculations on a calculator for math all the time, What's the purpose of 
really learning math exactly. to any serious degree. There is no You're reason. just going to put it into a calculator. It's going to do the work for you. You're not doing anything. The calculator's doing all you're the work. You're just pushing buttons. Yeah, you're just pushing buttons like you're playing a video game. You know, what's the point? You get anything out of that? Doubt it. I mean, if you can't remember how to calculate and do math, well, that's why there's a lot of people that say, oh, I'm just not good at math. It's because teachers have gotten to such a... That's the thing. That, that's like a cheat sheet right there. It calculator is. is like a cheat sheet because it basically gives you all the answers right there. The calculator gives you all the answers. All you got to do is press three buttons. Well, I mean, maybe more than three buttons, but like you got to press the number you want to multiply from, the multiplication or addition or whatever, yeah. and then the other number, and then it hit... I mean, yeah. that's well, just like, my point. Well, people are going to say... Do you see what my point is, though? I know, but people are like, well, like what's 10 times 10? That's 100, okay? People that have a calculator are not even going to know something that simple. They're going to use it in a calculator, and they're not going to remember that. They don't need to remember it, because... They have a calculator. They have a calculator, it's always going to remember it for them. So, yeah. So that's what I'm saying, I mean... Some technology things have made people not as smart as they used to be. Like com some computers, they got spell check now and grammar check. You don't use the oh, right spell. A lot spell. of them do. You don't use your... I thought I could get 140 on it evenly on him. I guess not. Okay, well, I gotta take him down. He's gotta go down. <laughs> Ouch. Get rid of the rocks first. The dragon's gonna be a little bit of a. Think they'll stay now? Well, I only killed one monster, dude. Oh. They, they stoned my... No, 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 you killed two. You got that other um, guy with... Oh, that's right, yeah. Triton, so. It's still not enough, though. Yeah, the team it's still not enough, because this, is, this team kill. hasn't even uh, felt battle yet. This team has not felt battle. Yeah. So this is my first... Except for Helrado's side. But I needed to kind of mix them up a little bit to, you know, get it to work. Yeah. Um, for this team to be somewhat decent, because if I just went in with... Um, with Bagdamagus when I wasn't leveling him or doing anything with him, that would have been terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess help. Uh, I guess Bagdamagus would have been okay, but you could see he missed a little bit more. Uh, you could see Hellrado's agility is better. Yeah. Intelligence is better. Well, yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of adventures that are smarter than Badger Davis. He's not. His intelligence is always very low. A little worried about him. They have two druids to start pummeling him. Archers, but dragons. it is black on black though, somewhat. Yeah, but there's a lot that's going to start hit. That's going to go target him more so. Yeah. Uh, Doggle could. No, Doggle will be fine. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah. We're gonna do this. What are you thinking? I don't know. I hope he doesn't stone me because it'll take away my hundred <clears> percent. <throat> he won't. Because that—that's what's been happening so far for a while now. Yeah, but if I usually say it, it usually doesn't happen. Sometimes I'm wrong, but usually I'm right. And I said he won't, therefore he didn't. Yeah, you were correct on that. <clears throat> so that one even miss you. <laughs> Lizzie Hale. <laughs> Lizzie Hale. Hailstorm? <laughs> oh. You don't listen to the band too much, probably. No. Well, I'm just going to hit her, I guess. I could hit the unicorn... That might have them, I don't know, it wouldn't make him heal himself up at that point, I don't think. Do not believe. Well, magic's going to hit him. He's low eight. Should. I really should. Yeah. He's too far away. Actually, what I'm going to do is he'll probably take a couple shots, and I'm going to drag his butt back in the back lines, because he's too a, far away from a cure. Since you're my teacher, and I'm your student, would you ever listen to me in a battle plan? Depends. Really? Well, I have sometimes, yeah. Well, sometimes you make some pretty decent suggestions. But in school, none of my teachers ever listen to me. Oh! Oh! I was shunned. Jin dude! I was shunned Come beyond on, belief. Come on, dude! I was shunned beyond belief. Were you? Well, sometimes. By some teachers, yeah. I was. No, I you're, just making, you're just making stuff up. No, just no, to, no, I'm serious. Just I'm, to just to get more views. Just no. soften the views. It's a, it's no. What it is. No, I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Viewers, please believe me. I am not making this up. This is a very true, true story. I am very serious about this. 
You can't see into my face, but if you could, you would believe me. Just the inflection of your voice lets me know you're just full of BS right now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to queue up the rock all the way, because I wasn't good enough, I wasn't smart enough, and... Uh, but those okay people still like you. Yeah, they do. They do. At least that works out. No. Oh, you did not just shoot Ulster. You did not. It's going to cost you, Tinkerbell. Obvious. And you ran away! Freaking jerks. Use your teammate. Go kill something. Oh, like the guess war what or I'm going to do. Now, first thing at Brigadeen School, what you have to learn is there's times where shooting through your own character gets you more damage and more fun. And strategically can help you get the win. But you gotta look at where your hit points are too to make sure you don't flat out kill your own guy. Yeah, that, that's always a good That point. would help. Yeah, that would help. Another part about a brigadine school is to make sure you kill the one guy in front of all that so you can get everything to work. <laughs> if you don't do that, you're gonna end up with this situation here. <laughs> well, she's 13, I still have him to go. So. Yeah. She's four. What about the warmer up there? She's 13, so I will get to hit her. So yeah. I wasn't really worried, but this is what you do. You can double up your damage like that. That is what you do. Bar none. Can you kill the unicorn? Oh. I thought that was mine. Holy cow. Uh, and I can 100% it, but... I gotta let Doggo do some damage. Just... He's got to do something, you know? Yeah. I actually did kind of want to level him up. And I might get to level him up to some degree. Some degree, but... All the way? Yeah, I don't know. We're doing it. <laughs> if I can paralyze her, keep her, Keep her with me forever? Forever? You sure you want her? Well, that doesn't sound right. Well... Well... I might get a level not... I might get a console out of this, dude. A little risky. I could lose the, uh, the wyvern if I do an attack, though. Well, if you... Uh... But I will get a kill. Yeah, I, I'd say I say do it. Oh, those are two golems here. Those those two golems could take some hits on me. Hmm. Yikes! I can't even get out of it anyway. Well, I then might as well go in Yeah, go in. Just do right, it at I, least. If this if this helps heal me to some degree, you know. A little okay. bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. Well, I can get rid of those. We well, can get rid of one gallon if you kill off if you kill off the archer. Genocide. Bring it. Thirty-eight. No way. <laughs> Thirty-eight. No She's got that way. good evasion. Even sixty-eight. Si wow. Oh. Is there someone else that can go? So that's the hard part about Avengers. They're just they're good. Get that. Yeah. But they're they're not that good for hitting evasive stuff. So whatever. I don't know. 82. Oh, oh man. I'm gonna lose that that wyvern. There's just nothing I can do, and this this is gonna hurt me more than uh, him. But um, well, if the clay golems miss because they they yeah, don't always yeah, hit very well, that's a very high yeah. wyvern. They're 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 attacks are not that powerful. Oh good. He's not even hitting you. If he focused on the the wyvern, that'd be a different story. Yeah. So he's saved. Because I don't think that Gom is going to one-shot my no, no, my boyfriend. That would be that would be silly and stupid at the same that's time. Insane. So, well, I go. So this is perfect. He's already level ten, so I have a red dragon for this team. I just have to level up my uh, Mr. Ulster. Oh, and this would be perfect. I could actually uh, get him a little bit higher. Another part of bringing to school is to do things that benefit you while you're already benefited. Because I needed 260-something. What was it? 
Oh! I thought that was 80. However much you used for it, that's how much experience you got. I don't know. Any case, I was trying to do a twofer, but I thought that was enough. I know this will be enough. The point is to do Halo on something that's going to get a kill. And even though you're going to level up, this will help you level up a little bit better. So yes. actually being underclassed, not classing up, you level up faster. Yes, that is, that, that's why like for a ghoul, I went to the level 20, then I get up to a vampire where I basically go faster. So yeah, it does work. It doesn't give you over to overall best uh, stats overall lengthwise yeah comparatively but you get stronger guys but faster. for this battle because they're still kind of a low team i need to level them up i really wanted to get that dragon up higher than just 10. so now i have a level 12 red dragon to start yeah just boom so level 10, it was yeah. a nine and just boom level level 12. so that was kind of the point of that you gave me you know well you gave me all that uh um halo halo give him halo spell yeah got a lot, got a lot more experience that way yeah yeah let's just quickly show them the map where we so, are now. This is the organized phase of Killian, Kai's team. And you can see I've got Kai's army here. Some guys are pretty high, no one ready to class up just yet. Um, sure. What about dragons? Is that too close? Well, it's, this one's close. I mean, the Warburns and uh, these guys, at least two are close. So is my angel, but. <laughs> it was funny. Not just yet. It's funny, there's uh, one of you commentated and said, isn't it sad how Prince Lance is the poor man's Dinadan? <laughs> <I think laughs> that it's, it is, yeah. I think that's hilarious because it's pretty true. Yeah, I mean, is. I think once you level him up all the way, and you get Geno Thunder also, he's definitely better than Dinadan. You know, once you max him out, level-wise. But because he's so low, that's actually difficult to do. Unless you just sit there and, you know, level at the end, just to max level everybody. Yes. You know? Um, if I do sit there to level everybody up to 30, it's really just because I'm going to go fight Bulmog. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, there's just no point. That's the main reason for it's it. Just, it's, just, it's just to see what their stats look like, but even then, it's still... The stats are a bit skewed because they don't give you the same exact um, stats every time. Yeah. You don't get this... It's always a little bit random. Like, you might get a little more magic power this time. A little bit more intelligence this time. You might not get any agility at all this time. Yeah. You know, every, any level up, it's always kind of different uh, as far as the numbers go. Okay, my next two attacks are going to be from Carf to Flagura. And, uh. Maybe show it on a map. Okay. Oh, wrong one. And from Carf to Flagura. And then this noise over to Jukes. So I'll be taking these two castles out next. Dang, you got the Jukes faster than I did. Yeah, oh, you want a Jukes? I think if I didn't have to defend those three times, I'd probably be Jukes by you now. You would've, yes. You I would've might even closer. be further along. Yeah, he had your number of defenses, though. So they so, just keep... They... Beinart really hates the Scali. There's the ranking list. Still one castle behind him, but the thing is, he's got more points because he had to do a lot more defenses. My defense is no one apparently wanted to attack me because I had all my forces on yeah, one you cast. Just, you just want to cry about it because you just want to. No, no. You just want to be higher than me. I had all my. Yeah, it could have happened. No, I had all my forces on one castle. Who's going to want to attack that? No one. <laughs> but so. now, you're going to get some points there in Orkney because show him what you got and show him what Zemeckis has. I think he might move some stuff around after you attack, but for this turn, I don't think he's going to. Well, Orkney. My team is going to be fighting with... Um, Just Marriott and the Pixie. Yes. Against Zemeckis and the God knows what. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so Adelicia and Biarte? Bior Bior no, Biarte. I'm taking a magic team as well with Jandifer. And you know, uh, Drist actually mentioned, why don't you use Adelicia and level her up? Because she's really good. And I said the same thing. I was like, that's a really good idea, but I'd have to ask him, I don't... Like, I, I can't tell you what to do, Paul, because that would, that would not be the point of this. That would make no sense. And it would be like, there's no point of you being here if I just tell you what to do and you do exactly that. Yeah, but... But it's not a bad suggestion. She's pretty got, good with room power. I got four dragons, though. And the thing is, I got two magic... Well, she's got good room power. I got two magic users, though, too. Well, what does she have? 
237 for rune power. I know. That's amazing. And she's pretty she's really strong. But Frank, you know how good I am at magic users. Yeah, yeah. So I mean if, if I If you had a fourth team, that would definitely be the way to go. If I did, yeah. If you if something happens you have to have a fourth team. That's that's a good She's she's amazingly good. Yeah, but that's all I can do for organizing. She's basically right now. the poor man's Vineheart. Yeah, that's all I can do for. That's all I can really do for. My well, that doesn't make sense because she's a woman, but I know. But <laughs> I don't know. She's not a poor man's fighter. She's she's good. She's good because they, you know, different things. So we've been saving the scorpions like crazy, and everybody is. I have to thank everybody for that. You have some really, really done so well. I thank you. Very much as well. From the heart of your bottom? Is that what you're going to say? Yes, the heart of my bottom. <laughs> That's how much I thank you guys. I thank you from the heart of my bottom. <laughs> now we got one Jinpu. Now we have two. What should I name him? Jin. Jin. And Paul found out. Jin Rummy. This is space. How about Jin Rummy? I gotta be able to fit it. Oh. Uh, can you fit four more in there? R U M Y? Jin Rummy? R U? R U M Y. I only have three spaces to work with. Oh. Uh, I only have three, well, three maybe digits. I, maybe, I put, maybe I put the space in there. Three characters I can I can use. Maybe I put the space in there then. I could do that. It's up to you. I'm just giving you a suggestion. Well, I gotta I gotta come up with a name here. Jin. Bean. That would be Jim Bean. Yeah. Jimmy Bean. Is that Jimmy Bean? No, it's Jimmy Dean. It's Jimmy Jim Dean. Dean. Yeah, Jim Bean. Jim Dean! Jim Dia? Yeah, Dia. I don't know what to name him. Jim Man. That would make sense. Yeah, it's three characters. I have a Jin dude and a Jin man. It's it's three characters, so why not? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's level six, but this is level fourteen. Come on, seriously. Kidding me? I'm not kidding you. All right. I know. I got the red dragon. I can class up. She's level six. So I could change her to Cleric and get some heals, but she loses magic power. So, no. I already got tons of healers anyways. Hey, get big red up. Yep. That's exactly what I'm going to do. If I have the room power to do it. I'm pretty sure you do. I only got nine. <laughs> nine. What is that, 20 points for that? Yeah, it's 95. Yeah. I don't even think you can move guys around to do it. Uh... Uh, Take a guy off, maybe, but no, they're all they're all good. Yeah. Uh, I could get rid of him, but I, I don't know. The less monsters I have, the more likely they're gonna attack me. This is this is a decent filled monster team, but it's not. Um, Who's there? There's, oh, oh, it's yeah. a unicorn. Oh yeah, you you captured a unicorn last time. I could take Actually, that away. Right no, I want Clay Gom in the battle. I want Clay Matthews in the battle. He's That's Clay Matthews? Battle. He's Clay 52. That's oh. I named him. There's another guy that actually is Matthews, though. I have the Heaven Bow? And the Claw. Yeah, I, I can't level up Big Red right now. I'll have to wait until I actually level up a bit. <laughs> so, I have the Heaven Bow. I don't know how I got it. Oh! I cause I beat Brangy and they gave me the Heaven Bow? Are you serious? Possibly, I really don't know. That's crazy. 
Because that's way stronger. Well, this bullet comes from heaven. Exactly. It's gonna be strong. Oh, I got another. I got another uh, claw too. Oh, this is so perfect. This is just too nice and perfect. Thank you. Wait, am I in a equip? Now you are. So I don't know if I gave. Oh, he has one. Now they both have the ten claw. Nice. Did they give me an item too? Like, I don't know. Something to change her into Lilith? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. We're gonna go into the attack mode. Paul said who he's gonna attack. Well, obviously you can see who I'm going to attack. I'm attacking Damas next. Yes. Or... This is Humber. That's Damas. Yeah, Damas. Humber is above it. Alright, so I'm attacking Damas. Paul's attacking here. By the time we meet up, Paul's probably going to... I mean, it's up to you if you want to attack Humber the same time I attack Cenodon. But... I don't know. About, I'll get Cenodon before you get Humber. No, but you'll be at Jukes also. I know. So you could attack Humber by the time I'm attacking Humber. I could. So, anyways, that's what's going to happen. That's the battle plan. Here's the map one more time in case you want to see. Here's the points. Here's everything we have done. And uh, we're getting pretty close to finishing this up. Yes, we are. So, all right. Take it easy. We shall talk to you later.